So we will s- Hello my fellow Latter Day Saints, Ken's Retro the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia. Back once again with another episode of Tommy Jerry Sins. Today, uh, this one's called The Milky Waif. Hmm. And uh, usual rules apply, so let's not waste any more time, let's just get straight into it. You know what? Two sins right out of the gate. Why? Since when did we decide to use the music from the very first episode? Why would you want to have us see Jerry sleeping? It was all a dream cliche. But the knocking definitely wasn't. Why are you so shocked at a basket being there, Jerry? Okay, I'll take a cent off for that. Are you sure he's able to know where he's going? And thus demonstrating the value of watching where you're going. Mind you, whatever's in the basket. Not able to do that very well. Mouse, how can I not take a sin off for that? <laughs> Feed him lots of mi Uh, since when was Nibbles all of a sudden a cat? I, I get it. I get it, he's a baby and babies need to drink a lot of milk. But, don't cats drink a lot of milk as well? <laughs> Jerry, can you feed me? I'm very, very hungry. How did he spot that from all the way over there? Why didn't you do that first time around? Hang on, how did he get himself down from there? That should have been your reaction as soon as you saw him! This is the only time I can recall Tom actually waking up FIRST TIME when something like this happens! Jerry must have a very good sense of balance to be able to pull that off. Now, wait, looking into the milk bowl. The bowl isn't that deep to be able to completely submerge Nibbles and Jerry. Shouldn't Tom have felt that? No, Jerry, Nibbles would have been long gone down there. Tom's throat by that point. No! How is Nibbles faster than Jerry? How? A gunshot on point of impact cliche. Okay, now that's clever. I would take a sin off, but I have to ask. How did he source so many straws? Right, now as soon as that straw gets taken out of the uh, milk, shouldn't Nibbles be able to distinguish that he was only sucking air, or in this case, uh, the inside of uh, Tom's mouth, which is quite disturbing to think of it. And no! That should not be happening. Mind you, neither should that for that matter. As soon as he started going, I would have just gone, Oh no, he's going! I must go get him! 
He waited until the plot demanded it! Good grief! Since when was his spitball shooting so accurate? And mouse hole should not be able to do that. Jerry, you had nibbles in your hand. Well, hands in this case. Go back into the hole so you are safe! Tom, they are standing right in front of you. This is your chance to eat them! Why does he not take these opportunities when they are right there in front of him? Now that's just a waste of milk. Wait, hang on, what? How, wait, I'm sorry, what? Now that deserves tripling the sink count, because how does that make any sense? They cut part of it out! A few moments later... You know that tripling the sink count thing? I'm going to need to go back on that. Why? Because it turns out that after doing some research, they actually edited part of it out because of the blackface joke. So instead of tripling the scene count, I'm actually going to put the sin on because while they edit that scene out, they haven't edited out previous scenes that I've covered in previous episodes. And forcing him to bite his tongue. Recycled animation. Stop right there! Also, how did Nibbles know when to stop? His eyes were closed. He shouldn't be able to see with his eyes closed. Yes, Nibbles. You are not supposed to hit me. You are supposed to hit the big evil cat. And it's time for a trip to the vet. Wait a minute. Wasn't Nibbles at the front? No, he wasn't. My mistake. Sin against me. Oh, you stupid dumb cat. You take a look. As soon as you catch. You do not delay the reaction! That number of heavy books should put enough pressure on the glass bottle to smash it. Allowing the books to squash Jerry and game over. How did he know how to get that? And that's a big no-no! Now there's your real gunshot! Took you long enough! And shock and surprise, another delayed reaction. No, no, no! Now that's how it should be working. Tom, you evil cat! He was defenseless! How dare you attack a defenseless mouse! Mind you, he's been doing that with Jerry since the start, come to think of it. And unrealistic physics on the glass bottle. You spanked him and now his behind is red? How dare you, Tom? You must die! It is probably what Jerry is thinking right now. Hiding the weapon you use to hurt someone, cliche. <laughs> Funny as that is, that is one of the most ridiculous moments of sound design I have ever seen in the history of Tom and Jerry. If I was doing everything great about Tom and Jerry, that would easily be a win. But it is a sin because it is unrealistic sound design because Jerry sounds like an almighty lion! He should be a mouse, not a lion! Also. How does Tom turn yellow? And Jerry shouldn't be that strong.
21 hits on Tom, spins included. That is 21 sins for Jerry's inhumane strength. Oh my word, he's got a meat tenderizer. I hope that's not foreshadowing the future. But I'm going to have to take that sin back off because at least, uh, at least Tom got some comeuppance here. Because you do not attack a baby. Wait, hang on, how did he get himself from the down? And that's everything done. Now that I'm actually, uh, we'll see, Saturday, settling into Dublin, I come back on the Monday. So that's me done now. All I need to do is get these edited and uploaded. Blooper reel on the way shortly. In the meantime, Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter day scenes notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous episode on the left, playlist on the right. Until next time, see you guys again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always.